boy, I can't tell you how excited I am. I just received the best birthday present ever. I got my GoPro Hero 10 in the mail today and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing to show you how it looks like. Now, I won't be doing any videos on it today, but I just wanted to open this bad boy up and see what's, uh, what's it all about. And before getting this GoPro Hero 10 Black, I was using my GoPro Hero Black 7 or GoPro Hero 7 Black, whatever whatever it's called. So, and it's, it's a pretty good little camera. I mean, it served me well for the last two, three years that I've had it. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great little camera, but GoPro has just released this uh, GoPro Hero 10 and I could not wait to get my hands on it. All right, so all this has come today in the same pack. I've got my GoPro Hero 10. I've got the media mod uh, for GoPro Hero 9, but it's also compatible with GoPro Hero 10. And they have also sent a 32 gigabytes of um, an SD card with that too. So I'll keep the SD card on the side for now. I just wanna open this up and see what all comes in it. Ooh, shiny, very nice. Okay, so we've got this little card. Um, your camera must be updated before you can use it. All right, I will do that. I'll update my camera before I use it. I've got the, uh, the charging cable, some mounts. battery the battery is exactly the same as GoPro Hero 9 and I have ordered a couple more extra aftermarket batteries um, just so that when this one runs out and if I'm recording I don't miss on recording my content um, another mount and here's the GoPro Hero 10 there you go, that's what comes in the box. Looks pretty neat, definitely bigger than uh, GoPro Hero 7. Um, I've actually got my GoPro Hero 7 over here as a comparison. Um, and I've got the cover on, even with the cover on my GoPro Hero 7, um, the GoPro Hero 10 is still bigger in size. And apart from that, we've got this a uh, couple of stickers, GoPro stickers, and also a booklet. Um, they send it with this case, which is quite nice. I like I like that, um, just because uh, you can actually keep it pretty safe. All right, I'll put this away for now, and I'll see what's in the media mod box. All right, so here's the media mod uh, box. All right, so here's the, the media mod. Comes with the, the wind blocker that you can put over here. It's pretty good. Uh, when you're doing vlogging, this is gonna come pretty handy. It'll block all the wind noise that's coming in. That's good. Um, so all you do is just open it up from here, slide your GoPro in and close this bad boy and that's about it. Apart from what you see here, I've also bought a couple of extra things to go with the medium mod and my GoPro Hero 10. I'll quickly show you what they are before we end this video. All right, now to go with my GoPro Hero 10 and the medium mod, I had to sort of figure out a way to make the image quality a little bit better because um, I've seen a lot of videos where the image um, quality or the video quality is kind of overexposed. Um, now the sensor in this this uh, GoPro is pretty good, so the video quality coming out of uh, stock GoPro is actually pretty good. But I thought I will buy myself ND filters, uh, a set of ND filters um, that will actually help me to make my motor vlogs a little bit better. So that's what the ND filters look like in the box. And I'll just quickly chuck one on. That's what the GoPro Hero 10 looks like with an ND filter. Obviously it juts out just a tiny little bit. Now the ND filter I'm using at the moment is the 
Telesin, Tele, Telesin, um, ND filters, comes in a pack of four. Um, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to buy them. I just bought it off Amazon. Um, the one that I've got on right now is a CPL filter, which is uh, just a polarized filter, but it's also got a um, ND32, ND16, and ND8 filter in this whole pack of four filters. And I can't remember what I paid for it. I think it was just under 50 bucks, so pretty good deal. All right, now another thing I bought to go with the media mod is this Ulanzi light. Um, it's an RGB light which changes colors, um, but I'm just gonna mainly use it for vlogging at night because it sort of gives more light um, when you're vlogging. So all you do is you sort of just set it up like that, um, screw it on so it's tight from here and there you go, that's your uh, you know, minimalistic sort of vlogging setup ready to go when you want to vlog at night. Now, I'm not going to plug my GoPro Hero 10 in at the moment because obviously it's saying to update the, the firmware before um, starting the camera, so I'm going to go do that. Alright, so I hope you like this short little video guys. Um, from here on, my motor vlogs are going to be shot on this GoPro Hero 10 and I'll still use my GoPro Hero 7 for uh, the footage that sort of uh, shows me on my bike. Um, I'm gonna do uh, a couple of tests pretty, pretty soon. Uh, I think I'll go for a ride either today or tomorrow and I'm gonna test my GoPro Hero 10. And as I change my settings, I'll share the videos with you guys so you guys can figure out what, what the best setting is for your GoPro Hero 10. All right, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you all next time. Ride safe. Bye.